Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Uh, last set we went to the, uh, Leafa Tree, Lifa Tree, how you pronounce it. And we have news from one of the Moogles that something's going on with Maddie and Sarai, so let's go! Um, I haven't done anything off screen because, well, I've been busy. So this should be, uh, kind of fun. Let's get going! It's been so long since I played this game. It was part of the game, I should say. I'm really glad I'm playing this game again. I love it. Final Fantasy has always been one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Maddie and Sarai, or how do you pronounce it? I'm home. I'm home. Moko told me the news. Are you all right? Come now. Talk later, Kupo. Kupo, Kupo. Hey, Iko. You better follow her. All right. Good advice. Um, equip man eater. That. That. Let's go. Got a nice prep ready to go, you know? I believe we have to go to the, uh... To here. Nope. Eco's house, then. Okay. Oh, down here. What's going on, Eco? It's... It's... The precious stone that's been passed down this village for generations is gone. My grandparents said... They said that, uh, that we should take care of it because of the symbol of the summoner's heritage. Well... How much, or how about crying for a change? I'll, I'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown up now. And crying won't help, help one bit. Alright, how about we look, uh, start looking for clues? I'll help too. Take a. Aww. Crying. Is it. Is it my fault? Is it because I broke my promise and opened the, uh, Eiffel Tree seal? Everyone, everyone was watching over the stone. Eco? It just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You're standing right. The real villain is the thief who stole it. So, let's just look for some clues and get back, get that stone back, okay? Okay. Throw up a little bugger. I wasn't going to cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. We know Eco, but if you like crying, just cry. I'm going to pay back... I'm going to pray f uh, to my grandparents. I'll be right back. If, if you need to, you can cry too, Dagger. My show is always, always available. Yeah, thanks. What about you, Zidon? What do you do when you need to cry? I get real clingy when I'm sad. Cut it out. Hey, I was serious. I heard a scream. It sounded like Kiko. Dang it. The thief was still here. So then I saw her. It was the girl from Fossil Rouge. She took Kiko. They went to the Eldian Wall. Let's go. Oh, dang. I want that chest. So that's nice. A <laughs> small chest. Alright. Don't think there's anything else I can grab. Great view of uh, Zidane's character model, though. Let's 
Alright, let's see what's going on. It's at the Eldian Wall, right? See you go, Koopa. Look what happened to Eco. The ancestors will be displeased. Tell us anything you, if there's anything we can do for Koopa. You less? Peek inside. Snow Lady Tree Lady! What's this wing ornament on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me. Get your grubby hands off it. Oh, shut up. Just be still until he gets here. I found a treasure, Koopa. Use it for eco, Koopa. Exploda. Elixir. Hold on a sec. So we got a new weapon for Zidane. Actually, we already had that one. Alright. Where's Mog? Nope, Mog is right here behind me. Koopa. Mog, I need to help save Eco. Koopa. Got an idea. It's alright, you won't be in any danger. Koopa. It's no use. Mog has always been a coward. Yeah, well, we gotta do something. Alright, let's go. Hey. Well, so there's my good my good Sir Knight. What have you done to Eco? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with uh, a sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? Then she's probably sleeping well. If it's my pendant you're after, then leave the arrows out of it. No can do. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over the pendant and I'll hand over the girl. Capiche? Up to the pendant that you always have on. Yeah. I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. Now cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole this village of stone? Green Bond is after the royal pendant. Found our jewels just like it in the city. The village. I'm glad I came all this way uh, looking for it. Now hand it over. Only Ico was conscious. Hold on. You're blocking something, aren't you? Stay right there. Yeah. You, Black Mage. Huh? Me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do the say if you value this brat's life. Is it done? Do it, Vivi. Okay. I'd be a little bit more untrusting of a black mage that has uh, sentience. What's we'll stopping from shocking you or setting you on fire? <laughs> Hold it. Ah! I don't know who you are, but thanks. Yeah. Can you stand? Huh? What's going on? Where's that old hack? Oh. Oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You! So the table's turned, and I hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. I'm not here to help. I just wanted to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job. I don't work with hostage taking scumbags and I get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Way to go, Red. Mark my words, I'll collect the bounty on you someday. Now fight me. Just a second here, what's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the, to level the playing field. Fair enough, let's do it. It's done. It's okay. I was just looking for more ways to impress you. Alright. Okay, so this is Scarlet Hair. A good view of him.
Okay. Let's see here. Scarlet Hair has... Ooh, wow. He has quite a bit of HP. 8,960... Or 56? I think is what it says. Kind of hard to read. Um, not bad stuff we can get from him in terms of money. Like, it's 4,790. Uh, 4, um, he'll always drop a tent. And unco or common steel is going to be an ether. Uncommon is poison knuckles. Um, he's a human type, obviously. And his only stats, uh, vulnerabilities are silence, sleep, and slow. So, pretty, uh, simplistic stuff. Now, we don't really need to worry about stealing all that stuff, because poison knuckles are, well, yeah. Uh, it's, it's currently available in shops, so we don't really need to steal anything. But we can, if we want to, just to sell later on. I'm gonna kill him, because, uh, I don't need him. Ah, you missed. Boop. Hi. Can I hit him over there? Counter! Oh, he counters when he's in the distance. Okay. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Although, with him in that corner, it looks like he's staring at the pillar like, hmm, this is fascinating stuff. Here we go! Bring it! What skills do I have? By luck... Eh, I'm good. Guess I'll just do physical attacks this time. It's gonna take about 9 hits to kill him. Well, less. Probably about 7 hits, actually. I'm doing pretty good damage. Alright, keep doing that. Just heal up all the way. Here we go! Alright, bring it! Ow. Rude. Ha, you missed. You suck. Simple enough. Nice design. I'm really enjoying the uh, updated graphics for the character models. Alright. I lost. Go on, fish me. Can you stand? Get back what you stole. Nico, I got it back. Now finish me. You want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish me then? You can go if you want. I won't follow you. Aha, try to trick me, eh? Trick you. I tried to kill you. Why you let me go? The fight's over and both are still alive. Good enough, eh? Good enough, right? You got back what was stolen from us after all. Listen to you, I lost some spineless thief. Sly Eagle doesn't kill at whim. Keep that in the safe place. Alright, well, thanks, Adon. Well, you're not gonna leave me alone uh, after what just happened, are you? Huh? I'm going! Shall we? Alright, interesting stuff. Hey. I think I'm gonna go talk to uh Eco again, who I think's probably in here. Excuse me, guys. Kupo. She's been quiet the whole time. It's 
Sanan, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me to leave the village, to not leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys, I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? Yeah, sure. I'll give if that's what you want. You can come with us. I forgot what your grandpa said. Hmm. Doesn't matter what I say, you've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Evie? Or Vivi? Evie. Huh? Remember what you taught me at the Eiffel Tree? I'll be right back. Okay. Um. What? Okay. Um. <laughs> fuck. Okay. All right. Um. Sorry. Um. Processing. Okay. So. You all heard of that bang first, right? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Let me get some water quickly while I, uh... Come on, while I try to, uh, ex process how to explain what... Try to think what just happened. Okay. I'm certain you all heard the bang, because that was a loud bang. I'm home alone right now. Um, <laughs> the frick. Um, I'm gonna be home alone for a few days because, well, problem going on in the family, so no one's here. Um, <laughs> okay, so hell. <laughs> layout of my recording room. Okay, I'm gonna get this quickly. I've said this a few times, but. There are five doors, one of which is at the top of a fly of stairs. One of which, all right, one goes to a laundry room, the other goes to the furnace, one to a bathroom, and one to a spare bedroom that I use when I'm recording late at night, like I currently am. Um, <laughs> that banging sound came from behind me which is either the bathroom door or the spare bedroom door. I will want to check in there because there's this huge window that is there. And I thought someone was uh, breaking in. No, no, nothing there. Uh, it also could have been an animal running through the window, which has happened quite a few times. Um, as I was in that room checking the window, that second sound you heard was my fan falling on, falling off. Now, if you've been watching my previous Let's Plays, um, <laughs> uh, yesterday's and uh, Wednesday's and Thursday's Let's Plays, you know I overheat a lot, so I have a fan that's always on whenever I'm not recording. Um, I have it on, I sometimes I had it on in earlier sets, but uh, it got really loud on my mic. But uh, whenever I start recording, I turn it off so you don't hear the fan. I think I'm moving around at this point. Um, and it's on a one of those uh, TV dinner tray things. 
That way it's at the right level to keep me uh, nice and cool. Uh, it's a box fan. And while I was in that spare bedroom, it fell off the tray. Now, I want you to keep in mind something. I always place that thing in the middle of the tray so it doesn't vibrate off. And even if that was the case, it should have fallen off because it was turned off. So, what? <laughs> so yeah, lights on because I'm not freaked out. Uh, <laughs> hell. Okay, so I'm going to finish this set because we're close to the end of this disc. And I'm going to spend some time uh, looking around to find out what the hell happened. So, should be interesting. Frick. Okay, um, uh, where, where are we at? Where are we talking, okay. He said I should never lie to myself. I'm giving, I'm giving an eye out for anything else now. I'll try to be honest with my, my feelings. You should too, Eco. Hmm. I forgot, I forgot my own why, CVV. Thanks. Where's Jules and Earring? Uh, it'll be okay then, right? Sit on. Cute. Memory Earring. Hold on a second. And now the TV upstairs turned on. I can hear it. Like I said, Home Alone, the only things that should be turned on are down here. I can hear the TV, what the frick? Alright, hold on. Yeah, we should, I, sh I, sh I should be fine. All, all the doors and windows are locked. I don't hear any steps. Okay. All right. I think Mog wants to talk to you. Koopa, Koopa. Aw, he has a little furry neck thing. Koopa. What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious. Went off without me again. You promised you wouldn't. What would you do if you uh, if you went off and got into trouble? Koopa. Oh, well, thank goodness we're both all right. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Kiko? Well, yeah, we're best friends after all. We're born on the same day, and we have always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Kupo. This is the one I gave Mog. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. I love that it's just the model and the, the thing floats up. Good maybe this, maybe then, Zidane, you'll dance with me? Zidane? I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> That's what I took out of it. Where dagger went? We got memory earrings. Does that do anything good? I'm assuming only uh, Eco can equip it. I may actually end this set, uh, short. Just because, uh... I'm a bit freaked out about what's upstairs. I can hear a song. Dagger? From down there? Dagger, you there? Oh, it's the song again! Is it on? It's okay, keep singing, because it's, it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. 
You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you how about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Aw. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't be—I couldn't have made it to Lindblom, much less to the whole see a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much, not just you either. Yeah, Vivi and Eco helped out uh, at the Eiffel Tree. Queena was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I have forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright. But sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel responsible, Dagger. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't, uh, they didn't do it all for you either. Each was following his own path. His own path. But what about you? Hmm? Why'd you come with me? Hey, that's, uh, Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen's a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. Kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trina. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from the rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read what said, Come back home. Not as we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. Well, we don't have airships anymore because the mist's gone. We don't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it, because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why'd you come with me? And, what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Aww. That's sweet. Gay adventurer is always so sweet. Zidane. Hi. I'm in love with Vivi. <laughs> That'd be funny. Dagger. Can't you can't you hear the song? Hmm? Yeah. It's that song. How come... Who's singing it? Sunset makes the Eldian wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Oh, that was disturbing. Dagger! Dagger, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. 
I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I turned six. I must have been here, in Maddie and Sar Sorry. It still doesn't... I still can't remember everything, but some things are like the shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievable huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day, I... I was with my true, mo true mother on a little boat, far from the village. There was a cove behind Iko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like that one there. It all came to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is from Maddie, Ma uh, Maddie and Sorry. So there's nobody else who knows it. It's a nice song, it really is. How did you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summer's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. About the lady prote uh, who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. A biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else and her true mother was already dead. Dagger has lost two mothers. That's a shame. Ah, uh, here's the, um... A while back I mentioned there was a angle in which you can actually see all the summons in the game. I used to pray every day here at the Eldian Wall. You too? You pray here too, Eco? I'm so happy I remembered. Dagger. Welcome home. So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yep, I made up my mind. Is it on? Dagger, I'm going with you. I've been breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I don't want to go. Besides, grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds. But I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Dagger. Let's go pray together. Alright. I still don't know what I should do. By the time I, we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria. Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mog's coming too. Mog! Nadika. Now, don't forget that you'll always have a home at Maddie and Sari. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of the Elden Wall will always lift your heart. I like this song. It's so nice. What now? You want some more, eh? The victor lives, the defeated dies, you know the rules. The actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why, did you, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Zidane, what? What are you after? 
Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you fight pretty good. Uh, you, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. I'm running down a man. <laughs> He's only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Come what you will. Mm. Lenny called you Red, right? And his base name is Amarant. So we'll go with that. So call me the Flaming Amarant. Fine, we'll call you Amarant. More than Mary, let's uh, start our marching order. We'll keep this. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the infantry. Alright, before I go, I'm going to point out... I can't really choose things. Crap. How about change parties? Order. Oh. Ugh. Nope. Don't change parties, because I have to do it later on. Um, Amber has a unique ability called throw, allows you to throw items. Uh, chakrams are one of these items that you can throw. His only real weapon is the Claws, and he's a pretty good brawler. He has no steel ability as far as I know. Um, so, that's it for this set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to find out what the hell's going on upstairs. So, I'll see you guys next week. Um, if you heard anything in the video that I didn't hear or mention, feel free to leave a comment uh, saying so, and I'll play back and see if I can find it. Um, I'll see you guys next week, and hopefully I don't get killed by a ghost in between. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.